Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. What an interesting day we have for you here. I've unlocked a new character. You may notice this gentleman here. You may also notice our win streak. This is The Lost. The video where I have unlocked The Lost should already be up on YouTube. We're going to play as The Lost today. I have no idea how many runs we're going to fit into this episode. Do I have it on? No, it's on hard mode. Good. Our seed today. You know what? I'm just gonna tell you right away. You know, I'll write the seed down so I have something to put in the video description. Three is easy F. Zero N six D. If you are um, looking to unlock the lost, you can figure that out for yourself in the uh, the you know the documentation that you can find on the wiki or something like that. It was a painful process to get it done. Uh, I did resort to using a seed to get the first condition, but everything else we unlocked uh, in vivo after one failed attempt. That's not so bad. What is special about the lost? In case you uh, have managed to avoid all spoilers on this, by the way, if you have, congratulations. That's very impressive. Uh, the lost is a character who has no HP and cannot pick up any HP. What this means is that you can't uh, actually ever get HP, which means if you ever get hit, you die. There are some augmentations to this. There's a, there's ways to still win while playing as the Lost. Holy Mantle, nine lives, you know, one up. Items like that. Gemini is not one of the... Oh, it's Pisces anyway. But even if it was Gemini, Gemini wouldn't be one item that would allow us to succeed. So basically, my, my hunch is... There's, there's a couple of ways to do this. I saw Nick play a bunch. By the way, we have to play on hard mode. Well, you don't have to, but you get unlocks on hard mode as the Lost. So you might as well just do it on hard mode from the get-go. But um, one, there's two ways you could do it. You could uh, just restart runs over and over and over until you got an item room that actually contained you know, something of value. That may be something I'll pursue if things go really, really poorly for an extended period of time. Like, I could just keep restarting runs and then be like, oh, look, we have uh, Holy Mantle in our first item room. Now we're going to try, like, a real Lost run, because there's not going to be too much more frustrating than getting, like, really far into the game and then dying. The other path, I think, which is the one I'm going to take for now, is we just try to survive as long as possible, getting deals with the devil along the way. And all we need to really have a, a chance of success is a deal with the devil that contains nine lives. And if we can get that, I guess Judas's Shadow would work as well. Deals with the Devil are all free, by the way, when you play as the Lost. Trust me, th this is going to be painful. Probably. I'm probably not going to get all the way through the chest on our first run here. But even, like, any... If I could get anything in the post-it note unlocked in, like, the next 45 minutes or so, I would be so thrilled. But, uh, yeah, unlocking the Lost was an accomplishment in and of itself. It's finally done. I never have to do it again unless I want to. Uh, and I want to, like, restart a save file for some reason. It was annoying to do. I can't really see myself doing that. Well, if anything, I'm glad it's not an HP upgrade because we have no desire for that. So yes, Holy Mantle, Trinity Shield, um, Pretty Flies, Nine Lives, the Ankh, the One Up, Judas' Shadow, Lazarus' Rags. Uh, I'll be I'll be content to take any of those. I'll be taking every deal with the Devil. Um, yeah, even stuff like well, maybe I won't. Uh, I don't know. Because I could have a better chance of getting Holy Mantle if I don't take Deals with the Devil and instead just go Deals with the Angel. But I think I'm more likely to have uh, Nine Lives show up than any Holy Mantle pickups. Just imagine that what this episode is going to be is probably a whole lot of, you know, Northern Lions bullshit, you know, stream of consciousness. Which is really what this series should just be branded as at this point, I guess. The Devil is a decent card for us. And we do, we do have a key now, which is nice. We also can fly. I mean, that's that's the, ven the the one benefit maybe of being as the Lost is that you do have the capability to fly, thereby meaning you can just kind of chill out over some rocks. I would love to pick up some high damage items as well. Like, you have to imagine if we could get Brimstone on this run, we could conceivably have a pretty good chance to win if we got Brimstone plus nine lives. We could stack up so much damage, deals with the devil are free, but it's also, you know, until we get nine lives or something like it, Taking a single piece of damage just completely screws us. Again, it seems like why wouldn't you ever take pills? Uh, well, they could be like tears downgrades, but they're not going to kill you. At least not directly. Paralysis, I suppose, could kill you indirectly. Um, I hate this gentleman here. With our tears upgrade, we should be a little bit better than usual at taking this guy out. Okay, almost wanted to use the devil card, but I'm glad I didn't. 
Very excited about this item room. It's actually been pretty good play thus far. We could end up fighting the haunt here, though. That would be pretty bad. Triple shot. It's a start, okay? It's not great, but it's a start. Even, you might be asking, like, hey, you should get, like, some bombs, blow up some tinted rocks or something like that. Nope. Don't work. Doesn't work like that. You gotta, you gotta never take damage or have some extra lives. So I will blow up tinted rocks, but it's to get the small rock and get other consumables. Or golden chests that can give us items, for example. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, my, my attempt. Fuck this room to death. Um, it's not gonna be, uh, to get spirit hearts like it normally would be. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I kind of want to blow up those TNT barrels, but let's take care of this daddy long legs up here. Thank you. You should be close. Triple shot's not quite the, the amazing item that I was hoping for, but it's okay. I mean, see, there you go. We can pick up a spirit heart. It doesn't do anything for us, but we can pick it up. That is for damn sure. I'm very wary of these enemies that, um, you know, teleport or have high movements or anything along these lines. You know, they could get me tripped up pretty easily here. Is this, uh, like, a super huge floor? Where the heck is our, uh... Is our boss fight. And, by the way, please don't be the haunts. Be Pin. Be the Widow. I can at least have a chance there. Well, not quite enough money to make the shop worthwhile. We got a lot of keys, though. We're gonna be at 10 cents. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll tough it out, as is right now. Not a huge fan of this room, either. You may have heard of it. If it's the haunt, we gotta pop this devil card. Okay, it's pin. It's still kind of tempting to pop the devil card. Just to speed up the fight, because really this is a big moment for us. We're either going to get a deal with the devil, or we're going to die. <laughs> so, you know, no pressure. If you get hit, it doesn't just ruin your run, it uh, like literally ends your run, basically. And you might be saying, well, why don't you just do like a seated run or something like that? That's That got patched out, I think. So you, you can't just, like, load up a seated run that has, like, Holy Mantle right off the bat and then exit and then go back to continue and it'll enable achievements for you. So we're going to have to do this uh, naturally, unfortunately. No Krampus. Okay, Mom's Knife Pentagram is great. But we still can't get hit, which is kind of annoying, to say the least. Tears down doesn't really matter. Paralysis is not good. Okay. Well, we have a high damage. Another common or semi-common route in order to uh, get some means of survival. Should always use full charge here. Don't play so fast and loose. Uh, another common route is to get uh, nine lives in a curse room. But the thing about curse rooms is that once you once you walk in, you're stuck. Like if you don't get what you need, you're not getting out of there. Apparently, you can walk into a curse room. If you get nine lives, you don't just die perpetually inside. You, like, touch the door frame and then teleport out. And you, you get teleported to the outside instead of the other side. Okay, this is fine. This is, this is more than fine. It's actually going pretty well. That is not nine lives. Tears up is good. Speed up is maybe not good, but we have it. Like... I won't hate myself if I die, but I'll hate myself if I, like, walk into fire or something. Like, that would be devastating for me. We can't walk over spikes, because we're, I mean, we're immune to spikes because we're flying. That would be the worst, man, if you didn't start with flying. So I don't hold out a lot of, you know, high hopes for uh, a deal with the devil on this floor. It's a theoretical possibility. But I don't... Oh, God! <laughs> I don't love our chances. It's the neutral flies as well that I'm very concerned about. Good. Uh, that's not going to be a boss area up there. Definitely want to hit both item rooms, and this is going to make that pretty easy. Okay, please, please. Proptosis, it's great damage. Does it lower our range? Not drastically, if any. Uh, sure. We look baller as hell. That's the most important thing to me right now. Okay. Not, this is not technically my first loss run, but it's my first loss run on camera. And it's going well thus far. Better than it has any right to. 
We're going to be looking for a shop to uh, improve ourselves. Anytime a bullet gets within, like, decent range of me, it's just like duck and cover, man. I'm so scared. I really also don't want to do this big room. Uh, but actually, it doesn't seem that bad. Just make sure you can actually hit these enemies. Proptosis, Mom's Knife, Pentagram. As any other character, this run would be, like, so sorted. But it's not sorted on this run, because if we get hit at all, we die. And it's so, so possible for us to get hit. Always. I don't, I don't know which of these enemies explode into freaking, you know, bombs or, and or bullets when they die. I don't know which one of these motherfuckers shoot out laser beams and can end our run, you know, instantly from across the fucking room. Actually, I do know which ones do that, but let's just ignore that for, for dramatic effect here. So basically, I've just got to imagine that pretty much every room that I go to here, you know, is this a room where I'm okay with dying? Am I okay with this being my last room on planet Earth? That could have happened right there. We might as well go with Book of Belial. It guarantees us to deal with the devil. Oh man, okay. That is good. Don't throw. Just live long enough to get into those boss rooms. You'll guarantee yourself a deal with the devil. Not that you need the extra HP or the extra damage here. You might as well take Compass. I think that's a little bit more potent for us. Maybe fighting Gertie. Gertie is dead. That was easy. I didn't even use uh, Book of Belial there. And we get a speed upgrade. And then we're going to pop this, like, as soon as possible. Oh, my God. Okay, we get the Pact. Please be nine lives. Guys, we're so fast. We're too fast. I can't do this. We got to go to the next floor. Okie dokie. <laughs> we're so fast. Red chests. No red chests. Okay. We're too, we're too fucking fast. This is an exceptionally strong run, though. Bonies? No! Okay. You got rocks, dog. Hang out over the rocks. Who's left? There is a bony. Not anymore. What? Excuse me? Alright. How about this? We got bombs. Let's look for a Joker card. Stars could be good. We don't need our Devil card. We're killing everything very quickly. Joker. Oh, snap. Okay. That's not nine lives, but it's a free guppy's hairball. So that means this floor, we're fucked unless we get Holy Mantle. Let's take our stars card. I don't want the guillotine. It's too risky. It's going to make it far too easy for me to hit my... Or get hit. It ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how... If that's true, by the way, if it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit, then we are extremely weak. <laughs> Which I think most... People would not disagree. Okay, wall masters strike me as a potentially very annoying enemy. Oh my god, I actually like flinched and moved away from my keyboard there. Just one wall master remains. You're alive. Get that adrenaline pumping. Get your motor running, bam, do the hell out on the highway. I'm not really looking for adventure. I'm mostly just looking for survival. They don't say that in the song though. Yes, like please, more enemies who don't actually shoot bullets. I appreciate that an enormous deal, more than you could ever know. I'm uh, not really interested in sharp plug. Might not kill us instantly. We gotta kill Boney. Oh, the, the Boney's the only enemy. Who we got? Loki. I don't. F oh my god. Did you see how close Loki got? I don't appreciate that. No telepills. Balls of steel, useless. Speed upgrade, no. Amnesia, doesn't matter. Health up, doesn't matter. Already got you, dog. Down to the next floor, then. We're gonna be going down to the depths part two. I've gotta admit, this is much better than I expected us to do on our first run. And of course it's Necropolis. I'm gonna try to go to our item room first, because Holy Mantle's too important to pass up. No big deal, just never take damage on this run. It's pretty easy. Okay, Leapers. Leapers have got to go. Then this gentleman here. Not a problem. These enemies teleport. They got to go as soon as the room starts. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Daddy long legs. Good. But we do have to be wary about enemies that could uh, 
could explode if they get hit by Daddy Long Legs. Very nice. Tower. We're going to blow up some of these uh, skulls. Because I would very much like to encounter a Joker card. Have, are there any skulls that I've missed? Oh, Curse of the Maze, you... You dick! It's cool. It's cool. We're alright. I would like to get the nickel. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. If you see skulls, you blow them up. There are skulls here. We're going to blow them up. We're going to start over here so we can walk backwards away if there's uh, skull turrets. Chariot. The chariot card seems pretty fucking useful. Okay, we're going to continue onwards then. Shouldn't be at too much risk here. This is like... I'm jinxing myself so hard. But I swear to you... Oh man, the Emperor card could be so good for the next floor. I swear to you that I have not like... Um, this is not like my fifth lost run. And I'm just like saying it's my first one on camera. This is my first one that I've done on camera. Red chess. Red chess. No, those, are, those are not red chess. Uh, we don't need to blow these up. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to beat Mom. I have to feel like we use our chariot card here and don't worry so much about the whole emperor card business, you know? Joker. Two of clubs. That's fine. More more chances to get the Joker card in the future. Joker. Rules card. Chubb dislikes smoke. Could have told you that one. Alright, we're gonna use chariot here. Please die faster. We did it. Okay, it doesn't really matter what we take, but this deal with the devil is very important. We don't need that. So we're not going to go to boss rush. Oh, but Book of Shadows, though. But we got to beat the whole boss rush of that. It, it's not worth it. If we'd gotten Book of Shadows at an earlier point, I could have considered it, but not at that point. We're going down to the womb already. So many bullshit enemies here. But this is, you know, a better run than you could anticipate having. Even without nine lives. Okay, this is where you gotta worry about Daddy Long Legs. It can get up to some shenanigans. Blow up some stuff you don't wanna blow up. It's okay. Of course, like, all these enemies can teleport. No tinted rocks. Oh, man. Lumps. No lumps. They don't telefrag you as much anymore. Can't help but feel that just getting through this room would be a, a glorious gift. Where are the long legs of my dad? Oh, come on, dude. We're done. Triple A battery. Yes. Gotta use Book of Belial. Oh, this guy's an asshole. Sort of. No sights. No sights. Okay. Orbital and... Guppy's paw. That's not nine lives, you jerk hole. We are pretty close to becoming Guppy, but come on. Oh. Oh. Down to the next floor. This is remarkable. We have not been hit on this run. Do you understand the implications of that? It's pretty goddamn amazing. First crack at it to get as lucky as we're getting here. I don't know where our... I, I figured we'd try this way. We gotta kill one. I figured we'd try this way because there could be red chests in here. Magic fingers? <sighs> ta -ta -ta -ta. I can understand why you might say magic fingers could be useful. Thank you. Guys, we're still alive here. Don't like these guys. Thank you for not exploding. Speaking of which... What am I even trying to, like, fight this room for? Like, to see if there's a Joker card or something? You should just get out, man. As soon as that door opens up, just get out. This is good. 
Oof, 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 oof. Thank you. It's the the succubus lump. My heart is um, is not in a good place right now. I'm so scared to be going down to the uh, cathedral. There's so many rooms that I mean, we shouldn't get cocky. We haven't made it past the mom's heart yet. But man, this is amazing. This is movie magic in the making right here. Okay, I wish I could use Book of Belial before entering the room. We gotta crush you, crush you, Book of Belial, hit mom. That's good. Wait for the Zambros to die. Sneak back up here. Don't get hit by this. You unlocked zero. Okay, that's cool. Um, we're gonna be heading up to uh, the, the cathedral now. Um, not scared at all, really. Curse of Darkness, I don't like you. Red chests? No red chests. So the boss is over here. Don't don't come close to me. This is the one time I'll I'll exercise my due diligence. Just keep your knife pointed out diagonally here. Oh, we got you. We got you. I'm not in a good place right now. Please give me a Joker card. Because that's the only way we can actually guarantee ourselves a, a good deal with the devil. If you give me nine lives, we can do it, man. Oh, you could possibly drop a Joker card, right? Right, Judgment? You've been known to do that in the past. That's dog food, dog. What am I supposed to do with that? Not these guys. Yeah, not dying to those guys. It's a dead end. Okay. Almost went into that curse room accidentally. Probably would not have been uh, very popular with people if I had done that. If I had to guess. Don't even put yourself like... Don't give yourself the chance to get hit here. Yeah, there you go. This is These are the enemies I'm most concerned about, to be 100% honest with you, is these bomb flies. Uh, <laughs> and, like, this large empty room. Only it's not empty. There's no scythes left. We're going to be fighting Isaac. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, pop this shit. We could always get Holy Mantle. On the chest. This is safe. This is safe. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking, though. What are you scared about, Northern Lion? Well, even a slight freaking mental hiccup could end this for me. Okay, Isaac's dead. We unlocked Isaac's heart. Whatever that is. Come on, Holy Mantle. Say it with me, guys. Curse of Darkness again. Holy Mantle. Miter's not going to do it. Ares is not going to do it. Oh, I almost believe. I almost believe. I think we got to go down first. Well, you know what they always say? It's always darkest before the dawn. This is a dead end. <laughs> we can still get iron chests. And if we get iron chests, then we get items. And if we get items... They could be Holy Mantle. Kind of giving up on nine lives, I gotta be real with you. Jump. Yes, thank you. Look, I couldn't have asked for a better run to start with here. My confidence is at an all-time high. At the same time, let's not get cocky. We haven't won yet, but at the same time, we haven't died yet either. Oh, the... The guitar solo is deafening me. I don't like this room. This is like 40 monstros? Can you kick up the 40 3D monstros? Yeah, just as long as you can sneak some knives. Oh, you sneaky dog. We did it. What do you think? You think it's going to be up and over? I think it might be an up and over. Don't you ever execute that double jump on me again, you you dick. You're being a jerk about it. Honestly, I almost want to pop uh, Book of Belial, but I didn't really have a chance to. Don't lose it on this room. I'll never forgive myself. Holy shit. Get in there. No time to be afraid. 
He's charmed, mother... You guys. Oh my god. That was my first lost run. Oh my god. We are the champions, my friends. I can't believe it. What can I even say about that? I woke up my cats and normally I don't like to go to those uh, extents. Holy shit, what? Like the lost is supposed to be hard or something? There you go. There's your, uh, there's your hard mode lost victory through the chest. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.